Team Lakai Red on Adawang. There's a front kick from Lito. Has the height and reach, does Lito Adawang. Hershey Getu is on the move. You can see him moving laterally, moving front and back. He's a little bit tentative to engage in the stand-up of Lito Adiwan, and that's perfectly understandable, especially because Adiwan's got such good check counter shots to deter those takedowns. Let's go! Hershey Getu needs to put something together here. Adiwan inching forward. Good roundhouse kick, and he got airborne on a two. Did Adiwan go to the body? Here he comes now! Lito with the heavy artillery. That's the danger of Lito Adiwan. I did not expect him to throw that flying knee like that, but it's something he's definitely got. He's got heavy kicks as well. Look how he's cutting off the cage, cutting off the movement of Hershey Getsu. Right hand lead, right hand again, plows through the guard from Adiwan. House on fire, and he calls Hershey Getsu forward. Hershey Getsu not taking the bait though, Dragon. Adi Wan is feeling it, He's carrying his hands down by his hands. Tries to fold him in half, yes. and he shrugs him off. You can see how Lito Adiwan puts every single ounce of power he has into each one of these shots. He's trying to end your night as quickly as possible. Hershigeto's got to be careful. Slow this down a little bit. Utilize some punches. Close the distance with that jab. Get tight. Hershigeto, though, Dragon, <laughs> looks unfazed. Yeah, he's taken some knocks so far, he looks unfazed. Ooh, Hershigeto is tough. He's got an ironclad chin, but he does not want to test it against the power of Lito Adiwan. Hershigeto, what will he find to get on the inside of Lito Adiwan? See, Lito operates in these bursts, right? He goes fast, really, really hard, and slows things down, right? This is what Hershigeto needed. Ooh, good takedown defense. That's got to boost Adiwan's confidence even more. Oh, look at the crack of these shins just pummeling into the midsection and hitting the forearms of Hershey gets it. Fake there from Adiwan. <laughs> Lino Adiwan wakes up every morning and just chooses violence. He looks really happy just to be inside there. Look at him. He looks smiling, and he is just enjoying himself to the fullest. Backs away to the guts again, does Lito Adiwan. Smiling. Hershey, <laughs> like <laughs> Hershey gets his tapping his stomach going, come on, try it again. Try to hit these washboard abs again with that round kick. And Lito accepts the challenge. I don't know if Hershey get who wants to tempt fate like this. I think he needs to change that strategy. But I like that. Counter the shot. Counter that kick with a big old left hand of yours. It's smart because if he can get it to commit to that real leg round kick to the midsection, he knows he can counter over the top. Let's see if Lito takes the bait. On the outside, Hershey Getu. Controlling center circle, jumping knee, and a single leg here from Hershey Getu, hoping for a takedown. Yeah, Lito Adiwan is figuring out that timing of the takedown of uh, Hershey Getu, and he's got to be, Hershey Getu has got to be careful with that. He can't just rush in like that with the takedown because that knee has come remarkably close. That's twice now that he's thrown that thing. Lito sitting in the right hand, grinning at him like a Cheshire cat. You mentioned it earlier, Michael, the way that Lito Adiwan cuts off the cage, you can see how Hershigeru tries to move to his left, and then Adiwan goes to his right to cut that angle and make sure he pins him exactly where he wants. Only one loss in his last nine bouts for Adiwan. Wants to rejoin the strawweight rankings. Former member of the Philippines National Wushu team. One of Team Lakai's second generation stars, 28 years old, Lito Adewan. Even in that loss, Michael, Adewan was really good. He had that deep Kimura, almost detached middle of his arm from his body. He had really, he has really good submissions as well as this beautiful striking style, too. He loves the Kimura. 
Hershey gets you looking for his fourth consecutive victory after a huge win over former world champion Dej Damarong Sramnoy Sirichoke. A victory could be enough to push Action. the Chinese athlete into the top five rankings. Let's go, Action! It looks like we are going to move into the second round. Folks, don't forget, we have brought you out to 154 countries around the world tonight. One championship revolution, our main card, triple main event, three world titles. Look at that knee on the entry. Hershey Gedu came in, he took that step forward. Adiwan tagged him with a knee. There he comes flying through the air with the greatest of ease. With a big <laughs> roundhouse to the body. That caught him right underneath the arm. He's been connected on these. I just think he has to find a little bit better accuracy with some of these, and he could put Hershey Gedu's lights out. But Hershey Gedu is ultra tough, has a good chin and a giant gas tank. And this is what we saw with Minowa. Uh, matchup against Adiwan is Adiwan empties his gas tank in the first and second round, and then as the match goes on, he slowly starts to fade. So maybe that's Hershigeru's game plan. Action, okay? He says he wanted the takedown, action, but he's been okay? denied three okay. times already from Adiwan's go, stellar defense. Second round, hope you're enjoying all the action live from Singapore. Big hello to Chris B watching in Tampa, Florida. Folks, let us know on social media, at one championship, who do you have winning this one so far? More importantly, who wins the Battle of the Mullets here? My God, they're both glorious, Mitch. If only I had the hair. <laughs> Adiwan's starting to grow into his mullet, too. It's getting pretty far <laughs> yeah, down his back, it man. Is. It's the Rapunzel style. Fake there from Hershigetsu. Nice high left round kick. Takedown defense of Adiwan is so good that Hershigeru might get drawn into a striking battle here, and that is not where he wants to be with Adiwan. He has to find a way to make this thing ugly. He has to earn that respect and kind of come forward, because you can see that he's just on the back foot. He's just backing up, backing up, and then Adiwan's going to try to trap him against the wall and do that. Land those body kicks, land those big shots, and ultimately look for that big right hand, too. He's got a marvelous right punch. Who should get to is tapping his stomach again challenging Lito Adewang to round kick him in the midsection, which Lito's been doing very effectively Action, so far. Let's go. Action. The great ponytail, Tong Po. Oh, to Michael Kissy. Yes. Well, you know, speaking of great mullets, there's a guy backstage at the moment named Joshua Pasho, who's probably hey, hearing this and saying, okay. hold my beer. Let's go. I'll be out shortly to defend my strawweight world title. Another great mullet. Pasho doesn't have a mullet. Doesn't anymore. No. He got rid of it. He never had a mullet. Yes, he did. Oh, you go back and have a look. I'm thinking of Kellen Bellingon. <laughs> have a look at the way that Adewang is cutting off the circle. Again, fires the high right round kick. Fake again from Hershey gets it. There's lots of movement here, Dragon, from the man from Inner Mongolia, but he's not committing enough. He's not putting the points down, Hershey gets to I feel. Well, every time he engages, Adiwan makes him punt and makes him pay for it. He's punishing with those body kicks. I know Hershey Gedu's trying to play the mind games to say let's go, but Adiwan's been able to really land successfully with that right leg Action over blue. and over again. Action blue. Good step through knee off the right leg there. Look at him. Adewan pointed to him and said, gotcha. They are having a good time in the circle, as are we watching this one. And some good action here in the second round. Inside leg kick from Adewan. Well, I think Adewan's having a better time in there because he's the one that's landing a little bit more, go, uh, actually go. a lot more shots on Hershigeru. Hershigeru's got to do something here. OK, Mitch, so play coach. What are you telling the Chinese athlete to do? He's got to earn some respect, and it, that respect is going to come from his hands and Action closing move. the distance. Let's go. You can see he's just circling to his left, circling to his left, and what's that doing? That's circling in to that power kick of Adiwan. He's got to go forward, change things up, maybe start circling to the other side. I know Adiwan's got a very dangerous left hook, but he's not going the right way. Have a look at the intensity now. The way these two are grunting each other, smiling at each other as they throw these devastating techniques. It's like watching an old martial arts film. That's great, Dragon. Just enamored with the hair. I think that's that's the deal with this. I know you like the striking and all, but I think the hair's got you. You know, I mean, you I'm enamored. For trying to give us with your explanations. Well, you know, just trying to be relatable for the fans at home, Dragon. I'm sure they were very curious. Some people may have never experienced a groin strike for themselves.
Now they little, know. Let alone one from Hershigitsu. Now they know it hurts. Fun kick there from Hershigitsu, who still needs to commit a whole lot more here. Look at the probing, the pouring of the lead arm, the range finding lead arm here of Lito Adewa. Hershigetu tried to counter over the top there. Range finding, that's exactly it. Hershigetu's having a very hard time with the distance and finding his range. He is still operating in the distance of Adiwan's kicks. He hasn't been able to find him. Look at that, he closes the distance and boom, there's that left hook. He's, he's bewildered out there, he's bewitched. He's just like hypnotized by Adiwan's movement and circular uh, basically power he's throwing. Good. Let's go. ah. Good round kick. Oh, no, it wasn't. It went too low again. Another groin strike. It's an opportunity for me, Drake, to tell you more about groin strikes. I think we need a further breakdown of those nerve endings. We'll tell you that when you get hit in the groin, nerve signals get launched to the brain at a speed of around 265 miles an hour. Now we're gonna take a look at it. Here we go. Boom. 265 miles an hour. Yellow card's out. Yellow card is out by referee Justin Brown. Tell us what happens with the yellow card, Dragon. You got to control your weapons, and Hershigetu will lose 10% of his purse with the yellow card, and the yellow card can't be factored into the judges' scoring as well. So he's got to be very careful. Throwing that inside leg kick. He's got to understand the distance a little bit, throwing that managed power as well. He comes immediately out with the flying kicks. Two illegal groin strikes in this round by Hershigetsu on Lito Adewang. Adewang flying front kick, little tapping overhand right, and he smiles at him, said, I gotcha. Flying side kick. More of those martial arts movie moves from Lito Adewang. What an entertaining contest, Dragon. Yeah, we had a little bit of a delay with the groin shots, but uh, that's all part of the game. But what we are seeing is a very calculated strategy coming from Lito Adiwan. He's got the distance down. He knows exactly where he wants to move Adiwan, and that's circling him to his power side. I think uh, Hershigeto needs to change things up. He cannot keep circling to his left, drifting into that power side, because he's just going to keep running into those kicks of Adiwan. I wouldn't mind seeing Adiwan start putting combinations together rather than just throwing one big quick kick, put the hands together, then throw the kick, then go back to the hands, and maybe even try to take Hershigeto down. Now, Dragon, at the start of the contest, you spoke about possible gas tank problems for Lito Adiwan. From what you see, is he experiencing any of those problems at the moment? So far, no, because a lot of those problems, especially in the middle of the match, came from the grappling exchanges, and we're not seeing that. You know, Adiwan has had a lot of experience inside striking, so this is playing right into his wheelhouse. This is exactly where he wants to keep the match on the feet. But I wouldn't be surprised if we see a takedown here coming from Adiwan, just to change things up, because I think he could get it if he did try it. Adiwan opening up with a 3-2 combination off the hands. The position we've seen so far for most of this contest, Adewang dominating center circle, pushing Hershigetu to the outside. So you can see now Hershigetu's starting to move to his right, which is a better shot. Oh to no, do. not again. Tell us more. You're running at a groin strike faster. <laughs> Regale you with Dragon, but is it going to be a red card this time? Is it going to be another yellow card? Would it be a 20% purse deduction? Could issue another yellow card, but it's coming from. Like, not even want to attack him, right? So he's kind of coming into it. He's not really trying to hit the groin. I, he's not. Um, it's just it's because of that distance problem that he's having. He hasn't quite found his range. When you see a fighter get struck in the groin, there's a second yellow card. You'll often see them clutch their stomach. The reason being that the area shares pain receptors with the groin. That's why they clench their stomach often. That's my other interesting groin strike fact for the night. So two yellow cards, that's 20%, one-fifth of the purse of Hoshigetu gone. Yeah. I dare say, Mitch, one more, and he's out of here completely. Well, it really depends on, you know, Adiwan. That's that's three now. You, you spoke about the gas tank problems, and, you know, it definitely starts to accumulate. You have a very hard time kind of coming back from these, and he seems to be taking longer and longer after each one of these. 
Um, they're, they're very... How many times were you hitting the groin in one of your fights? What was the most? Bad story, man. I got kneed in the cup and the cup cracked. Oh, that bad. It was... Oh. I threw up. It was, it was But horrible. even though you've got the cup on, you still feel the pain, right? Yeah, that's why the tie cups are so much better. The steel because, ones? Yes. Right. Exactly. They're steel. So the plastic ones, it still reverberates. It's like you said, it's a, it's a nerve thing. It's very sensitive and... It's uh, it's just it's the most painful thing. You know, it's worse than a liver shot. Worse than a liver shot. Worse wow. than a liver shot because a liver shot just shuts down your body. Right. That's pain you have to live with. Right. You have to. You, it doesn't go away. You still have to, you know, keep fighting. So, Lito Adewang still recovering here. He has allowed the duration of one round, up to five minutes, for medical attention and recovery. Now he's back to his feet, which is good. And it looks like we are going to recommence here. What a tough warrior. He's the Thunder Kid, Lito Adewang. And here we go. Lito's ready to go. Front kick immediately forces Hershigetu back. Again, this similar position they've been in for most of the contest. Flying side kick. A little bit of Rick Rufus styling there from Lito Adewan getting airborne. Yeah, Lito likes to take to the air, man. He's looking for the flying push kick. I like to see him stay kind of grounded and just throw big shots, throw more than one punch, more than one kick. Really start putting things together. I know Hershey is very active and circling out the outside of that circle right there. You can see how he's now he's moving to a better side. Now he's not drifting into the power side of Adi Wan. Now he's moving to his right. And that's important to avoid the power, especially with the kicks. But Hershey has also switched stances as well. So now he's going conventional. So his right hand is in the rear. So it's a different look for Adi Wan. Hershey who grew up wrestling in his native Inner Mongolia. Later added Sander techniques to his arsenal. As Adawan threatens to get airborne again. Make it a caution from referee Justin Brown if we don't see some more engagement here, particularly from Hershey Getu. Not really throwing anything. Lots of movement on the outside from the Inner Mongolian, but there's a failed attempt at an inside leg kick. Shoots in for a low takedown. Good defense and a nice uppercut off the right hand there from Lito. It's the range, Michael. He's at the end of Adiwan's kicking range, and that's why Adiwan has been able to land so many kicks on uh, Hershigetu because, you know, Hershigetu's not approaching the boxing range, and uh, Adiwan can't kind of cover that distance, so it's just the kicks constantly over and over, attacking the legs, attacking the body, and to cover that distance, Adiwan will actually jump up into the air to try to get closer to Hershigetu, but Hershigetu is moving a lot. Adewan really does represent that new breed of fighters from the Fabian team, Lukai, the team that at one stage held four of a possible eight men's world championships at one. Of course, at a time in 2018 when the Philippines had five of a possible eight men's world champions, the fifth being Brandon Vera when he held the heavyweight world title. Yeah, Michael, I'd go as far as to say that Team Lakai is one of the super gyms that just doesn't get nearly enough credit. Oh, they have a tremendous team. I can't think of another gym anywhere in the world that's had four world champions in an organization Let's go. one time. And I would say like 90% of those guys are homegrown athletes. That Mark Sengio has raised his their entire fighting careers. And, you know, imports like Adiwan stay. They understand the community, the family that's there, and also the level of the training that they got. And they really develop. Adiwan is a beast. Nice uppercut there landed as Hershey Gidu tried to come in. Do you sense any frustration here on the wolf from the grasslands? I, I definitely think it's there. I know he's smiling, having a good time, egging Adiwan on, but it's, it's the distance. He just can't seem to manage it as well as Adiwan can and he can't get the takedown. That's where he excels. That's where he's gotten his path to victory in the past three wins. He's looked really good in his past three matches That's against uh, DSA. It. He looked tremendous. He really had a great performance because he was able to get the takedown and outwork Dej on Time. the ground. There's a groin strike in return from Lito Adewan. They are three versus one in the groin strike stakes. Don't know if that was a necessarily hard one, but it did connect to the place where uh, Hershey Getu did not want to be connected. So a little bit of a break for recovery here. He has allowed five minutes for recovery is Hershey Getu. As Lito is not allowed to go to his corner, though he is glancing over at his corner. And it looks like we are recommencing here. Let's go! 
purely accidental. There's nothing malicious in it. All the uh, athletes from Team Lakai are gentlemen. You will not find a more gentlemanly gym than Team Lakai. And what's important at Team Lakai is that all the guys are studying as well for various careers in a life after fighting. Hershigeru's getting pumped up. Now he's trying to take the center circle. This is what he needed to do early. But he's not throwing anything. He's just making sounds. He's got to get in there and start throwing. But it's also throwing Adiwan off. Adiwan's a little bit gun shy too. Ground kick high one there from Lito Adiwan. Overhand right from Hershigeru. Folks, we're just a few seconds away from our main show beginning in 154 countries around the world make sure you join us check your local tv guides and of course on the one super app on the br live channel on youtube check us out one championship revolution is about to go down folks we'll have the result for this one to you shortly but for now it's time to tune in to our main card it's time live from the singapore indoor stadium for one championship revolution three world titles one